Hi, good day. This is Fred TV or the Filipino Real Estate Teleblog number one. I will discuss 20 common questions regarding Philippine real estate. First, I want to apologize with my English. I'm not good, better, best at it and speaking it. So please bear with me. Also, I'm not an attorney or a grammarian nor an accountant. So things I will say here all according to my research. All right. Uh, let's start with question number one. What are the primary government offices that deals with real estate in the Philippines? Normally, it is it is the first the HLURB or the Housing and Land Use Regulatory Board, which issue LTS or the license to sell to developers. Then two, the Land Registration Authority or LRA that they certify and they verify and issue land titles here in the Philippines. And three is the Professional Regulation Commission which issue license to real estate practitioners like brokers, salesperson, appraiser, real estate consultant, and assessors. Can a foreigner own a property in the Philippines? In owning a house and lot, foreigners are not allowed to own a piece of land. However, if he or she has a Filipino spouse to co-own it with, it's possible. Another way is through corporation registered in Securities and Exchange Commission or the SEC, which is uh, at least 60% Filipino owned, Filipino ownership and 40% foreign owned. The good news is in the Philippines, condominiums are under the Condominium Corp, Corporation or the Condo Corp. So every condo, every condo tower in the Philippines can be owned by foreigners up to 40%. Is there a 50 year, 50 year rule for condo? Will they automatically condom a condo after 50 years? There is none. There is no such thing as 50 year rule. In the start of, uh, I will take you to the history of the condominiums. In the start of the vertical houses in the Philippines, the practice before where real estate developers would only make a lease on the land where they build their condominiums. This is leasehold title and limited to a period of 50 years. But nowadays, developers normally buy the land and leasing rule will no longer apply. Remember the Intercontinental Hotel in Makati. That's an example of leasing. So the misconception of the 50 year rule started with this and continue up to this day to all an informed real estate observer. Since the land where condos nowadays is in freehold title under the name of the Condo Corp and the Condo Corp have a renewable registration of 50 years, the year rule doesn't exist. Also, Condo Corp have the option first to demolish the building after 50 years then sell the land and split the profit or two build new building or condominium for their heirs and there are three factors to declare a condo, a condo or condominium uninheritable and need to be demolished it is according to the Condominium Act of 1966 also known as Republic Act 4726 in section C8 says that condominium has been first existence in excess 50 years that is second obsolete and uneconomical and third and that the condominium owners in aggregate more than 50% interest in the common areas are opposed to repair or restoration or remodeling or modernizing the project is, is reservation fee with developers refundable here in the Philippines. It's non-refundable, especially if the buyer fails to exchange contracts within time period specified usually 28 days. Also developers or sellers use it to process the sale and it all costs money. How much is the down payment and how long can I pay for it? 10% to 20% down payment is accepted and payable up to two to four years if pre-selling and three months to a year if ready for occupancy and the 80 to 90 percent is loanable to financial institutions like banks if you have available cash 
you can pay 40 to 50 percent in three to five years without any interest and also with appealing discounts from the developer the remaining balance will be bank finance or you can pay it also in cash should i give cash to, to my agent for monthly down payment as much as possible it is not recommended because cash can easily lost misplaced or worse be stolen for security of buyer and agent you should pay using check or bank transfer using developer's name can i get my down payment back if you're paying for less than two years you will get nothing but if you're paying for two years or more there is a maceda law you can utilize it states that you can refund up to 50 percent of the total payment made to the developer and if you're paying five years or more you're entitled to an additional five percent every year but refund should not exceed 90% of payments made. What is CPS, DOAS, and TCT, and CCT? CTS or contract to sell is a document which simply binds the seller and the buyer on a promise that, they, that, the, that the seller or the developer will deliver a specific unit or real estate and the buyer is obliged of paying a specific amount in a specific terms and duration. It is also your protection as a buyer from inflation rate, um, price increase of raw materials, also from wage increase of manpower, price increase of the project, etc. DOAS or Deed of Absolute Sale is a transferring document that indicates that, tra that the transfer of property rights from seller developer to the buyer has legally transpired upon paying full selling price it must be notarized it has the seller developer's name and the buyer's name the tct number technical description and agreed selling price it must also be taken to the register of deeds with under the lra to be recorded this is also the basis of the cct or the tct tct or transfer certificate of title is a legally legal documentary evidence of the property rights of a certain private land cct cct or condominium certificate of title is a legal document for a condominium condominium unit it contains unit geophysical location with measurement floor and unit number name of the developer and then and the owner's name Can I sell my condo unit without the CCT? Yes. If you don't have the CCT, you can use the DOAS issued by the developer upon full payment. Another way is what we call assume balance. Using the CTS, you can appoint the continuation of payment to, to your buyer. Just coordinate with your developer or using your DOAS coordinate with your bank. How to check for legit developer? You can check the Registration and Securities, of Securities Exchange Commission or SEC, uh, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Housing and Land Use Regulatory Board, and look their, look their name in HLURB, HLURB database and ask for the LTS or license to sell of the project they are selling. How to check about the legit broker and salesperson? You may ask for their PRC and HLURB ID and verify their name in the HLURB, HLURB database. Their, the website of HLURB may be useful too. And if you're dealing with an unlicensed broker or salesperson, they might be penalized by the said government agencies and you might get scammed also. What are the taxes and expenses of maintaining a property? In a vacant lot, there is not much with uh, with it but with huge parcel of land you should frequently check the site because it can be occupied by illegal settlers or offer for sale by scammers if your budget allows you might get a security guard for less hassle house and lot in villages with established home homeowners association they collect dues maybe monthly quarterly or annually depending on the resolution of the majority you voted you will also incur maintenance of your house like plumbing, roofing and repairs, etc. In condominiums, you have monthly dues for common area 
and inside your unit not not much especially uh, particularly if you're the first owner of the newly built condo but all these properties or properties vacant lot um, house and lot and condominiums all properties have real property tax that may be paid monthly quarterly or annually depend depending on you it ranges one to two percent depending if you're inside metro manila or outside metro manila it depends on the fair market value of the prop of your property basis based on the zone of value given by the bir per square meter and paid to the local government in condo am i required to pay hoa juice or monthly juice since you're walking in the hallway, being served by the, reception, the receptionists, janitors, and security guards, swimming in the same pool maintained by your HOA or the homeowners, homeowners Association, and your inquiry entertained by the admin, all of this costs money for wages and services. Unless you don't want all of this, you can consider not paying your juice. But on serious note, did you know that in, the, uh, in other countries, the HOA, can sue the delinquent owner and can lien the unit taking ownership from him or her what is mri cli and what is it for and is it required mortgage redemption insurance and credit life insurance are both tools for protection for all for all parties the buyer the developer or the seller and the financial institution in case of buyer's debt this insurance will pay the remaining balance of your mortgage according to the insured amount. CLI is used when you're paying down payment with the developer and MRI is required by the bank upon application of the loan. Am I allowed to alter my condo unit? Yes. Yes, you are allowed to change the interior of your unit according to your desire and taste, but the whole way must maintain its uniform design. You cannot alter outside of your unit, even the door for or its color, for it will destroy the uniformity or pattern of the hallway. But you can always ask your building ad administration or read the house rules thoroughly. Also, admin usually require a construction bond before any construction may occur. If I sell my condo unit, can I still use the amenities? Definitely not. If you sell your unit, you are also selling all your interests and rights as well as membership and shareholdings in the condo corp. So you will be an outsider after the sales has been realized. Can I price my condo unit as high or as low as I want? Yes, RA4726 says each condo owner shall have the exclusive right to mortgage pledge or encumber his condo to have the same appraise independently of the other condo owner is personal to him so you can since i'm one of the owner of the common areas and can i sell the pool in our condo generally the title of the common areas are held and under the condo corp although you're a part of it you can't sell it because the area is not solely in your name. It is legal. It is illegal. You might get in trouble if you do that. Last, are pets allowed in condos? In some condos, pets is allowed. Uh, pets are allowed, but most of existing projects prohibit it. But when the management is transferred to the HOA or the homeowners association, which will happen if the condo corp is established. They can have a resolution that will allow it with majority owner shareholders approval. Bonus. Did you know the Senate Bill 2148? Senator Sunny Anguara filed it on April 4, 2014. It aims for an interest free loan through tax incentives for first time home buyer. But sadly, it is suspended in the air as of today. Hope fully something happened to it next time i'll be discussing about why should i invest in real estate they say millennials are scared to invest millennials want to rent longer because they wait to buy their real deal or their dream house 
or lastly they 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 said that stock market is fast and exciting and real estate is slow and steady for some boring let's find out why next episode of Fre TV if you guys enjoyed this video Hulk smash that like button and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I post a video thank you so much for watching again this is Nardong Puti saying start investing in your dreams because if you don't no one will happy investing and god bless the edge or URB or the home and land use regulatory board rule started with this started with this and continue up to this day continue up to up to up to these days and continue up to this day to all uninformed real estate observer since the land since the land were condominium condos nowadays in freehold since the land since the land were condos nowadays is in freehold title under the name of the condo corp 